Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning program. Today is Monday, and we pray that you had a blessed weekend, and you're ready to start this week off uh, on fire, on fire for the Lord. We have to be, our family was talking about this uh, yesterday, we have to be on a rescue mission every day, a new rescue mission to, to go out and help as many people as you possibly can. We'll talk more about that, but let's have a word of prayer. And then we're going to, I have an article that I want to read to you. And then we want to share something. Well, we're going to share Jerry Travers with you. Okay. All of that is coming up, but let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your love and for your grace. Thank you for what you've done. Be with us this, uh, this program, this hour. And we pray that you just bless us, bless us with the Holy Spirit and bring us closer to thee. Please in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, so let's get into an article I want to share with you first and foremost. And the title of it is called, A few days ago, John Hopkins published a study saying Corona is NBD. They then deleted it. Read it here in its entirety. Now here's the article. It says, John Hopkins published this study on Sunday, which posts that COVID is nowhere near the disaster we're told, we're being told it is. I would summarize, and by the way, this is written by, well, I don't know if I should say the author. Well, let's just keep reading. And, um, now the author is going to mention a name in there, but, uh, this is the person involved in the study, uh, not necessarily the person who wrote the article, but let's continue. And before this article starts, there's a graph, uh, is, and the, the name of the graph is a closer look at U.S. deaths due to COVID-19. And it's a colored graph that gives you total deaths per week by ages, starting from 14 under, then 15 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, and on up. And at the top, it's 85 and over. And that is where you have the most deaths in the United States, okay? Uh, the least amount is 14 and under. But now let's, and you know, that's more or less natural, but let's read the article. I want you to see uh, what they're saying here. The article says, John Hopkins published this study on Sunday, which posts that COVID is nowhere near the disaster we're being told it is. I would summarize it for you or offer pull quotes, but honestly, you just have to read it for yourself. You just have to read it yourself because it's mind blowing. The original, the original article is now deleted from the John Hopkins website for some reason. Luckily, the internet is forever and it's available via the Wayback Machine. Here is the article in its entirety. According to new data, the United States currently ranks first in total COVID-19 cases, new cases per day, and deaths. Genevieve Bryant, assistant programmer of the Applied Economics Master's Degree Program at Hopkins, critically analyzed the effect of COVID-19 on U.S. deaths using data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in her webinar titled COVID-19 Deaths, A Look at U.S. Data. All right, so she had a webinar. And again, the title of it was COVID-19 Deaths, A Look at U.S. Data. From mid-March to mid-September, U.S. total deaths have reached 1.7 million, of which 200,000 or 12% of total deaths are COVID-19 related. 
instead of looking directly at COVID-19 deaths, Bryand focused on total deaths per age group and per cause of death in the United States and used this information to shed light on the effects of COVID-19. So rather than just look at COVID-19, look at the total deaths and see what COVID-19 did to the total numbers. She explained that the significance of COVID-19 on U.S. deaths can be fully understood only through comparison to the number of total deaths in the United States. After retrieving data on the CDC website, Brian compiled a graph representing percentages of total deaths per age category from early February to early September, which includes the period from before COVID-19 was detected in the United States to after infection rates soared. So it's going from before and after. Surprisingly, the deaths of older people stayed the same before and after COVID-19. Since COVID-19 mainly affects the elderly, experts expected an increase in the percentage of deaths in older age groups. However, this increase is not seen from the CDC data. In fact, the percentages of deaths among all age groups remain relatively the same. Now, this is deep. When you think about it, when you listen to the narrative, remember there is a narrative always. When Jesus Christ was living on this earth, there was a narrative going out to the people. They even did his uh, trial at night so everybody wouldn't have to, um, wouldn't be awake for it. Same thing that they do here. When they'll distract you with one event and at night they may pass a law. You know, whatever the, uh, whatever the situation is. But whatever the narrative of the day is that they're putting out that they want you to believe, they did it in Christ's day, they do it all the time. They've done it all throughout history, they're doing it today. There is a narrative that they want you to believe, and the narrative shapes uh, not only their agenda and pushes their agenda, but it can also shape your mind. Which is why I am so big about us not following the narrative. The Bible says to prove all things, but yes, people say, well, as long as you keep your eyes on Christ, you're okay. Well, the problem is, you know, if it's like having, it's like dating someone who's always lying to you and you're believing them. They're deceiving you. It's not going to end well, even if you have your eyes on Christ. You know, you have your eyes on Christ, but you're being deceived by this person. When the signs are there that something is wrong, you should look at them rather than or ignore them because you choose to and because you just want to, uh, you don't want to not believe a certain thing, maybe because you were trained a certain way or whatever the situation is. But we have to unlearn what we've learned to stand in this last day. One more thing, we were talking in worship yesterday in Hosea 4, 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. See, so when God tries to share information through you, through whoever, whatever, however he does it, okay? Um, and we, especially when it comes to principles, because principles, the Bible will always back up true principles. When you see things happening in the world that goes against the principles that are foundational in the Bible, you should pay attention. You know, in this world, they'll tell you that the masks do nothing. Then they'll switch and say, the mask, you, you can't do without it. They're constantly changing, but God's word does not change. God stands firm. His principles stand firm. So when you see things that are off, in the narrative that they're giving you, you should pay attention before you end up getting hurt or deceived. This is what happened to Eve. We want to have a clear mind and see what's going on. But back to this article.
Uh, where were we? It says, in fact, the percentages of deaths among all age groups remain relatively the same. Then she's quoted. The reason we have a higher number of reported COVID-19 deaths among older individuals than younger, younger individuals is simply because every day in the United States, older individuals die in higher numbers than younger individuals, Brian said. Brian also noted that 50,000 to 70,000 deaths are seen both before and after COVID-19, indicating that this number of deaths was normal long before COVID-19 emerged. Therefore, according to Brian, not only has COVID-19 had no effect on the percentage of deaths of older people, but it has also not increased the total number of deaths. Continuing on. In this article, it says, these data analysis suggests that in contrast to most people's assumptions, the number of deaths by COVID-19 is not alarming. In fact, it has relatively no effect on deaths in the United States. Whoa. And, when the, and the United States lead around the country. Think about that. It goes on to say, this comes as a shock to many people. How is it that the data lied so far from our perception? To answer that question, Brian shifted her focus to the deaths per causes, ranging from 2014 to 2020. There is a sudden increase in deaths in 2020 due to COVID-19. This is no surprise because COVID-19 emerged in the United States in early 2020, and thus COVID-19-related deaths increased drastically afterward. Analysis of deaths per cause in 2018 revealed that the pattern of seasonal increase in the total number of deaths is a result of the rise in deaths by all causes, with the top three being heart disease, respiratory diseases, influenza, and pneumonia. Then she is quoted to say this. This is true every year. Every year in the United States, when we observe the seasonal ups and downs, we have an increase of deaths due to all causes, Brian pointed out. When Brian looked at the 2020 data during that seasonal period, COVID-19 related deaths exceeded deaths from heart disease. Now, let me read that again. And that's heart diseases, it's plural. So when Brian looked at the 2020 data during that seasonal period, COVID-19 related deaths exceeded deaths from heart diseases. This was highly unusual since heart disease has always prevailed as the leading cause of death. Of deaths. However, when taking a closer look at the death numbers, she noticed Something strange. As Brian compared the number of deaths per cause during that period in 2020 to 2018, she noticed that instead of the expected drastic increase across all causes, there was a significant decrease in deaths due to heart disease. That's crazy. Even more surprising, as seen in the graph below, this sudden death or this sudden decline in deaths is observed for all other causes. So, and as, as I was reading this article, I was thinking to myself, boy, what if they come up with a point that other deaths are going down? And sure enough, as I kept reading, that, that's what I came across. Let me read that last part again. As Brian compared the number of deaths per cause during that period in 2020 to 2018, she noticed that instead of the expected drastic increase across all causes, there was a significant decrease of deaths due to heart disease. Even more surprising, as seen in the graph below, this sudden, sudden decline in death is observed for all other causes. And the graph depicts the number of deaths per cause during that period in 2020 to 2018. This trend is completely contrary to the pattern observed in all previous years. Interestingly, as depicted 
in the table below, the decrease, the total decrease in deaths by other causes almost exactly equals the increase in deaths by COVID-19. I have to repeat that again. All right. Interestingly, as depicted in the table below, the total decrease in deaths by other causes almost exactly equals the increase in deaths by, to- by COVID-19. This suggests, according to Bryant, that the COVID-19 death toll is misleading. Bryant believes that deaths due to heart diseases, respiratory diseases, influenza and pneumonia may instead be recategorized as being due to COVID-19, which we already knew. And there is a chart here. It's a graph um, depicting the total de- decrease in deaths by various causes, including COVID-19. I'm willing to send this to you if you have, haven't read this. Um, if you contact the station, I don't mind sending this to you. Uh, going on, the article goes on to say, the CDC classified all deaths that are related to COVID-19 simply as COVID-19 deaths. Even patients dying from other underlying diseases but are infected with COVID-19 count as COVID-19 deaths. This is likely the main explanation as to why COVID-19 deaths deaths drastically increased while deaths by all other diseases experienced a significant decrease. Here's a quote. All of this points to no evidence that COVID-19 created any excess deaths. Total deaths numbers are not above normal death numbers. We found no evidence to the contrary. She concluded, Brian concluded. In an interview with the newsletter, Brian addressed the question of whether COVID-19 deaths can be called misleading since the infection might have exacerbated and even led to deaths by other underlying diseases. If the COVID-19 death toll was not misleading at all, what we should have observed is an increased number of heart attacks and an increased COVID-19, COVID-19 numbers, but a decreased number of heart attacks and all the other death causes doesn't give us a, cha- a choice, but to point to some misclassification, Brian replied. All right. Um, there's more to the article. But I think we're going to stop here. At the very bottom, there was an update. It says John Hopkins University tweeted that they deleted the article because it was being used to support false and dangerous inaccuracies about the impact of the, of the pandemic. Importantly, they didn't say anything in the article was incorrect. So we're just memory holding studies that don't align with the narrative. Got it. This is what the person wrote. Now, this is very interesting. And um, what can I say? What can I say? They're looking to control. That's why we don't want to just just don't take the narrative just because they said it. Prove all things. Prove all things. And I mean, if you're going to believe it, if you're going to believe something, prove it. That's all. So all we're saying today, that is it. So let's take a break. And then come back because when we come back, we have Jerry Travers and he has some really big information to share. So let's do that now. We'll be right back. And you're listening to SWM Radio. (laughs) 